What's up everybody? Welcome to your 22nd PHP tutorial. I'm Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how you can create your own globals. Now in the last tutorial I told you about that we have something called super globals but the good news is that you can create your own globals as well. So to do that what you can do is you can make use of this globals associative array and assign the key as a variable name and then the value here now this is accessible everywhere in your script now obviously I wouldn't like to keep the variable name as like that so I'll just change it to let's say my var okay so now let's just create a function quickly to see that even if it works or not echo this close enough and if I use echo globals my var then it should probably work if I remember it right so if I call this echo this function down here and here's my page let's reload this okay so you see that we got the output as 100 right here so had it not been a global variable let's say if it were just a my var and here then you obviously know now that what would be the output you see nice output so that's how you can create your own global variables in PHP and we'll be looking at the ones I talked about aka the super globals in my coming tutorials so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching